Today, we're diving into something really interesting, how different groups of people see and use the natural environment to meet their needs. Not everyone agrees on how we should use the Earth's resources, and understanding these perspectives can help us make better decisions for the future. Let's jump in. First up, let's talk about the perspective of a traditional indigenous community. For many indigenous peoples, the land is more than just a resource. It's a part of their culture, identity, and way of life. They often view the environment as something to be respected and protected. The land provides them with food, medicine, and materials for shelter, and they have a deep spiritual connection to it. Many indigenous communities practice sustainable living, taking only what they need and ensuring that the environment can continue to provide for future generations. For them, the natural environment is a shared resource that belongs to everyone, including the animals and plants that live there. Next, we have the perspective of an environmental organization. These groups are often focused on protecting the environment from harm and ensuring that natural resources are used sustainably. Environmental organizations might be concerned about issues like deforestation, pollution, and climate change. They believe that the natural environment has intrinsic value, that it's important just because it exists, not just because of what it can provide to humans. These groups often advocate for conservation, protecting endangered species, and reducing the impact of human activities on the planet. For them, using the environment should be done carefully with the goal of preserving it for future generations. Now, let's consider the perspective of a multinational mining or forestry company. These companies are in the business of extracting resources like minerals, oil, or timber to meet global demand. From their perspective, the natural environment is a source of valuable materials that can be turned into products for people around the world. These companies often focus on efficiency and profit, but they're also aware of the need to manage resources responsibly. Some companies invest in reforestation projects or technologies to reduce environmental impact, but their primary goal is often economic growth. For them, the environment is a resource to be managed, developed, and used to fuel industry and provide jobs. Finally, let's take a look at the perspective of the residents of a resource town. These are communities that rely heavily on natural resource extraction, like mining, logging, or fishing, for their livelihoods. For the people living in these towns, the natural environment is directly tied to their economic well-being. The extraction of resources provides jobs, supports local businesses, and funds public services like schools and hospitals. However, they might also be concerned about the environmental impact of these activities, such as pollution or habitat destruction. The residents of resource towns often face the challenge of balancing economic needs with environmental protection. For them, the environment is both an opportunity and a responsibility. So, what's the big picture? Different groups have different perspectives on how to use the natural environment to meet human needs. For indigenous communities, it's about respect and sustainability. For environmental organizations, it's about protection and conservation. For multinational companies, it's about resource management and economic growth. And for resource towns, it's about balancing jobs and the environment. That's it for today's geography lesson. Understanding these different perspectives helps us see that there's no one-size-fits-all answer when it comes to using the Earth's resources. It's all about finding the right balance that works for people and the planet.